Hello, and welcome to Unseen with Tampa Fire Rescue. I'm Fire Chief Tom Forward. This month, we take you to the high seas to learn about TFR's Marine Unit. These brave men and women work hard every day to keep you safe, both on the water as well as on land. Special Operations Chief Emilio Salaberria fills us in on what makes this division so vital to our city. consists of three fire boats. The main one which we're on board right now is a 69 foot metal craft fire boat which is capable of delivering 13,000 gallons of water per minute on any fire involving a ship or anything near the shoreline. She's also equipped with four motors or engines. She can get up to about 32 knots which is fairly quick for a large vessel and she uh, can provide a very good platform for any kind of extended operation, whether it's a ship fire, a oil spill, or a rescue, or anything that may require us to be on the water for a length of time. We fortunately were able to use some grant money that was provided to the Bay Area through the Urban Area Security Initiative. So we were able to leverage some of those funds, about $3.8 million, to design, build, and acquire this boat. We have a smaller boat, 34 foot. It's the uh, Richard D. Santmeyer. It's a Sea Arc vessel. She's capable of pumping 1,250 gallons a minute of water. She is a very quick boat. She's quicker than this one. And she's a really good platform for getting out there on the water quickly on the scene to assess what's going on while we bring the larger boat to the scene if it's needed. The other boat we have is Fireboat 19. She's a 27 foot Boston Whaler also capable of pumping 1,250 gallons of water per minute. That boat is the quickest one out of all three. She is uh, on the other side of the peninsula at the uh, Temple Harbor Club. She can get out on the water and, and mainly do a lot of water rescues and that's uh, pretty much to her staple. She gets out there for many water rescue calls along the Howard Franklin Bridge or the Gandy and she uh, can extinguish any small fire in a small vessel. The personnel assigned to Fire Station 17 are the individuals that staff Boat 1 and Boat 17. They'll take the boat that best fits the description of the incident. <clears throat> the number one boat is Boat 1, so that's probably the one that they like to take out the most, especially out into the bay. If they're going to go running up towards the river, they'll probably take the smaller boats, the St. Meyer. But the people have to go through a certain number of training classes and they need to maintain their level of training. They have to go to the Coast Guard class to get their six-pack license. Some of them have a 50-ton license to operate a 50-ton boat. Some of them have a 100-ton to operate the larger vessels. Every member of 17 has to be trained to operate these boats and they must maintain those qualifications in order to maintain assigned to the boat and operate the boat. You know, you, the Marine Division is a unique assignment. You find people gravitate to that assignment because that is just one of their passions. They love being on the water. They love working on the fire boat. They love providing that service. And it really is a labor of love. To be on the Marine Division, you spend countless hours maintaining the boat. You're constantly cleaning it. You're oiling it. You're polishing it. It's a never-ending labor of love for these people. And they spend a lot more time polishing and maintaining and cleaning the boat than they do anything else. This large boat, Fire Boat 1, will respond anywhere the, the uh, Coast Guard needs us to respond to. We could respond to their area of responsibility within the Gulf of Mexico, which could be 470 square miles of water. If they need some, some uh, ship to be boarded for firefighting, we will respond and assist the Coast Guard to extinguish any fire on any vessel. A boat this size isn't easy to dock. Changing currents, winds, and tides all make mooring a challenging proposition. But the latest technology makes it just a little bit easier. Captain Mike Layton shows us how. All right, so basically now what we're doing is we're coming into the, to the dock and putting the boat up against there. There's several things that we'll have. We'll have a guy on the aft and a guy on the bow, and then this guy's going to be considered the deck boss. He's working with the two guys on the outside and then the driver of the boat, bringing it in. 
you're this far away from the dock. You're parallel, which means you're basically square to the dock coming in, and we're coming in sideways, crawling the boat in. Um, he's just letting them know how far away he is. If he's dragging or pushing, that means if the back end's in or the front end is out of whack, not parallel, he'll let them know that. Of the jets flowing out, that's basically the motor pushing the water against those jet tubes and pushing us this way to go in. So it's like right now, he'll be giving commands to him. He's telling him 15 feet, you're parallel. Basically, when the stern guy is going to, stern and the bow guy are going to hook around the cleats on there. The stern guy is going to wrap it. He will come up, take the bow line from the bow guy. He's going to wrap it, secure that off. Meanwhile, the boat is still engaged in gear and we're called what we're called sticking it to the dock, which is basically pressing the boat up against the dock. For almost as long as we've had a fire department, we have had a presence on the water. But just what is it like to operate one of these vessels? Drive engineer Danny Del Rozel fills us in. 69 foot aluminum firestorm, what they call it. It's a metal craft. It's got four engines, 825 horsepower piece. Uh, it's jet drive, which allows it to, uh, for the shallow bay, per se, we have here, um, it gives you a 39 inch. Uh, just just under four feet, four feet uh, draft. That means you can get into water about four feet deep. And uh, we hold a thousand gallons of fuel. This thing ought to run about, it, it'll run about 32 knots. And that's pretty fast for a 70 foot boat, 20 foot, 21 foot wide. What's the advantage of a, a wide beam like this? Stability, you know. This boat, if this boat was 15 feet wide, it would be, very unstable. You could probably stand every, all the crew on one side and the boat would list. So, and, and all the stuff we carry on, it would quite, carry quite a bit of stuff on it. We have a side scan sonar we can use for, uh, in, with the police and or sheriff department for looking for uh, a car in the river or a body, uh, it just depends. We have all kinds of other equipment on it. From you have a Zodiac back there. What yeah, that we use that for quick deployment, like for uh, for if we can't get somewhere where this boat is too tight of an area, like for a rescue, for overturned boat or what have you, and getting closer to it. And uh, it's easier access to bring people on and bring them back to this boat for medical attention if they need it. It's, it's real neat. It's very fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, uh, it, it handles well. It'll do exactly what you want it to do. I mean, it took a little bit getting used to because it's jet drive, and there's not many boats that I know of this big that are jet drive boats. You know, probably weighs about 115,000 pounds. You know, about 85 gross tons, and. Uh, Works pretty good. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of there's six transmissions on it, also that engage pumps and one for uh, we which we have 2250s, which are gallons a minute pumps in the front of the two front engines or the two center engines, and in the rear of them they're 3500s. So you do the math there. You you can push out a lot of water. I have two bow monitors. I have a stang, what we call a stang up top, a roof monitor, and one stern smooth bore. Probably, what is that, two inch? Yeah. Two inch nozzle on it. Mainly we're going to be fighting fire with these three nozzles here. The roof monitor and these two up front, which flow 2,000 gallons a, a minute each. And that one up top about 6,000 at maximum capacity. The 
ones in the stern we hardly would use maybe to, to level ourselves. We're mostly going to be using a straight stream like this for penetration and distance. To, to go to a fog, you're basically protecting yourself, if anything. Carry 500 gallons of foam. Well, hydrocarbon fires, alcohol fires, you know, these ship, ship fires, anything to do with fuel or a polar solvent. That's what it's for. It's called 1-3 Gold. And uh, we can flow quite a bit of that. We carry 500 gallons and we have access for more if uh, something's, you know, in a larger scale. We go out on rescue calls, um, you know, overturned vessel. We can do some PR stuff, you know, escorting the victory ship. Um, we've done parades. You know, there's all kinds of things we do. Whatever they tell us to do, we do. The citizens of Tampa can rest assured that Tampa Fire Rescue's Marine Unit is on the job 24-7, keeping our waterways safe. I'm Fire Chief Tom Forward, and I hope to see you again for the next episode of Unseen with Tampa Fire Rescue. Stay safe.